Chapter 6. Cattle In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful. All praises and thanks be to Allah, who alone created the heavens and the earth, and created the darkness and the light. Yet those who disbelieve hold others as equal with their Lord. It is He who has created you from clay, and then decreed a stated term for you to die. And there is with Him another determined term for you to be resurrected. Yet you doubt in the resurrection. He is Allah, to be worshipped alone in the heavens and on the earth. He knows what you conceal and what you reveal, and He knows what you earn, good or bad. And never a sign comes to them from the signs and revelations of their Lord, but that they turn away from it. Indeed, they rejected the truth, the Quran and Muhammad, when they came to them. But there will come to them the news of that which they used to mock. Have they not seen how many a generation before them we have destroyed, whom we had established on the earth, such as we had not established you? And we poured out on them rain from the sky in abundance, and made the rivers flow under them. Yet we destroyed them for their sins, and created after them other generations. And even if we had sent down to you, O Muhammad, a message written on paper, so that they could touch it with their hands, the disbelievers would have said, This is nothing but obvious magic. And they say, Why has an angel not been sent down to him? Had we sent down an angel, the matter would have been judged at once, and no respite would have been granted to them. And had we appointed him an angel, we indeed would have made him a man, and we would have certainly caused them confusion in a matter in which they were already covered with confusion. And indeed, many messengers were mocked before you, but their scoffers were surrounded by the very thing that they used to mock at. Say, O Muhammad, travel in the land and see what was the end of those who rejected truth. Say, O Muhammad, to whom belongs all that is in the heavens and the earth? Say, to Allah, he has prescribed mercy for himself. Indeed, he will gather you together on the day of resurrection, about which there is no doubt. Those who destroy themselves will not believe in Allah as being the only God, and Muhammad as being one of his messengers, and in resurrection, and so forth. And to him belongs whatsoever exists in the night and the day, and he is the all-hearing, the all-knowing. Say, O Muhammad, shall I take as a helper or protector any one other than Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth? And it is he who feeds, but is not fed. Say, indeed, I am commanded to be the first of those who submit themselves to Allah as Muslims. And be you not, O Muhammad, of the polytheists and disbelievers in the oneness of Allah. Say, I fear if I disobey my Lord the torment of a mighty day. Whoever is averted from such a torment on that day, Allah has surely been merciful to him, and that would be the obvious success. And if Allah touches you with harm, none can remove it but he. And if he touches you with good, then he is able to do all things. And he is the irresistible, above his slaves, and he is the all-wise, well acquainted with all things. Say, O Muhammad, what thing is the greatest in witness? Say, Allah, the most great, is witness between you and I. This Quran has been revealed to me that I may warn you with it, and whoever it may reach. Can you indeed bear witness that besides Allah there are other gods? Say, I bear no such witness. Say, but in truth Allah is the one and only God, and truly I am innocent of what you join in worship with him. Those to whom we have given the scripture recognize Muhammad as a messenger of Allah. And they also know that there is no God but Allah, and Islam is Allah's religion, as they recognize their own sons. Those who destroy themselves will not believe. And who does more wrong than he who invents a lie against Allah, or rejects his signs and revelations? Indeed, the polytheists and wrongdoers shall never be successful. And on the day when we shall gather them all together, we shall say to those who join partners in worship with us, where are your partners and false deities, whom you used to assert as partners in worship with Allah? There will then be left no excuses for them but to say, 
By Allah, our Lord, we were not those who joined others in worship with Allah. Look how they lie against themselves. But the lie which they invented will disappear from them. And of them there are some who listen to you, but we have set veils on their hearts, so they do not understand, and deafness in their ears. If they see every one of the signs and revelations, they will not believe in them, to the point that when they come to you to argue with you, the disbelievers say, These are nothing but tales of the men of old. And they prevent others from following the Prophet Muhammad, and they themselves keep away from him. And by doing so, they destroy nothing but themselves yet they do not perceive it. If you could but see when they will be held over the hellfire, they will say, If only we were but sent back to the world, then we would not deny the signs and revelations of our Lord, and we would be of the believers. No, it has become manifest to them what they have been concealing before. But if they were returned to the world, they would certainly revert to that which they were forbidden. And indeed, they are liars. And they said, There is no other life but our present life of this world, and never shall we be resurrected on the day of resurrection. If you could but see when they will be held and brought forth and made to stand in front of their Lord, he will say, Is not this resurrection and the taking of account the truth? They will say, Yes, by our Lord. He will then say, So taste you the torment because you did not believe. They indeed are losers who denied their meeting with Allah, until all of a sudden the hour is on them, and they say, Alas for us that we gave no thought to it, while they will bear their burdens on their backs, and evil indeed are the burdens that they will bear. And the life of this world is nothing but play and amusement, but far better are the houses in the hereafter for those who are pious. Will you not then understand? We know indeed the grief which their words cause you, O Muhammad. It is not you that they deny, but it is the verses of Allah that the polytheists and wrongdoers deny. Indeed, many messengers were denied before you, O Muhammad, but with patience they bore the denial, and they were hurt till our help reached them, and none can alter the words and decisions of Allah. Surely there has reached you the information about the messengers that came before you. If their aversion from you, O Muhammad, and from that with which you have been sent is hard on you, and you cannot be patient with their harm to you, then if you were able to seek a tunnel into the ground, or a ladder to the sky, so that you may bring them a sign. But you cannot do it, so be patient. And had Allah willed, He could have gathered them together, all to true guidance. So do not be one of those who are ignorant. It is only those who listen to the message of Prophet Muhammad, who will respond and benefit from it. But as for the disbelievers, Allah will raise them up, then to him they will be returned for their recompense. And they said, Why is a sign not sent down to him from his Lord? Say, Allah is certainly able to send down a sign, but most of them do not know it. There is not a living creature moving on earth, nor a bird that flies with its two wings, but they live in communities like you. We have neglected nothing in the book and to their Lord they all shall be gathered. Those who reject our signs and revelations are deaf and dumb in darkness. Allah sends astray whom He wills, and He guides to the straight path whom He wills. Say, O Muhammad, tell me if Allah's torment comes upon you, or the hour comes upon you, would you then call upon anyone other than Allah if you are truthful? To Him alone can you call, and if He wills, he would remove that distress for which you call upon him. And you forget at that time whatever partners you joined with him in worship. Indeed, we sent messengers to many nations before you, O Muhammad. And we seized those nations with extreme poverty, or loss of wealth, or loss of health, and calamities, so that they might believe with humility. When our torment reached them, why then did they not believe with humility? but their hearts became hardened, and Satan made fair-seeming to them that which they used to do. So, when they forgot the warning for which they had been reminded, we opened to them the gates of every pleasant thing, until in the midst of their enjoyment in that which they were given, all of a sudden we took them to punishment, and they were plunged into destruction with deep regret and sorrows. 
so the roots of the people who did wrong were cut off. And all praises and thanks be to Allah, the Lord of mankind, jinn, and all that exists. Say to the disbelievers, Tell me, if Allah took away your hearing and your sight, and sealed up your hearts, who is there as a God other than Allah who could restore them to you? See how variously we explain the signs and revelations, yet they turn away. Say, tell me, if the punishment of Allah comes to you suddenly during the night or openly during the day, will any be destroyed except the polytheists and wrongdoing people? And we send not the messengers, but as givers of glad tidings and as warners. So whoever believes and does righteous good deeds, upon such shall come no fear, nor shall they grieve. But those who reject our signs and revelations, the torment will touch them for their disbelief and for their denying the message of Muhammad. Say, O Muhammad, I don't tell you that with me are the treasures of Allah, nor that I know the unseen, nor do I tell you that I am an angel. I but follow what is revealed to me by inspiration. Say, are the blind one and the one who sees equal? Will you not then take thought? And warn those who fear that they will be gathered before their Lord, when there will be neither a protector nor an intercessor for them besides Him, so that they may fear Allah and keep their duty to Him by abstaining from committing sins and by doing all kinds of good deeds which He has ordained. And do not turn away those who invoke their Lord, morning and afternoon seeking His face. You are accountable for them in nothing, and they are accountable for you in nothing that you may turn them away, and thus become of the unjust. Thus we have tried some of them with others, that they might say, Is it these poor believers that Allah has favoured from amongst us? Does not Allah know best of those who are grateful? When those who believe in our signs and revelations come to you, say, Peace be on you. Your Lord has written mercy for himself, so that, if any of you does evil in ignorance, and thereafter repents, and does righteous good deeds by obeying Allah, then surely he is oft forgiving, most merciful. And thus do we explain the signs and revelations in detail, so that the way of the criminals, polytheists, and sinners may become manifest. Say, O Muhammad, I have been forbidden to worship those whom you invoke and worship besides Allah. Say, I will not follow your vain desires. If I did, I would go astray, and I would not be one of the rightly guided. Say, O Muhammad, I bring clear proofs from my Lord, but you deny the truth that has come to me from Allah. I do not control what you impatiently challenge me to bring of the torment. The decision is only for Allah. He declares the truth, and He is the best of judges. Say, if I had control of which you are asking for impatiently of the torment, the matter would have been settled at once between you and I. But Allah knows best of the polytheists and wrongdoers. And with Him are the keys of all that is hidden. None knows them but He. And He knows of everything, in or on the earth and in the sea. Not a leaf falls, but he knows it. There is not a grain in the darkness of the earth, nor anything fresh or dry, but it is written in a clear record. It is he who takes your souls by night when you are asleep, and has knowledge of all that you have done by day. Then he raises you up again, so that a term appointed, your life period, be fulfilled. Then in the end to him will be your return." Then he will inform you of what you used to do. He is the irresistible, supreme over his slaves, and he sends guardians, angels guarding and writing all of one's good and bad deeds over you. Until when death approaches one of you, our messengers, the angel of death and his helpers, take his soul, and they never neglect their duty. Then they are returned to Allah, their true master and God, their just Lord to reward them. Surely his is the judgment, and he is the swiftest in taking account. Say, O Muhammad, who rescues you from the darkness and dangers of the land and the sea, when you call upon him in humility and in secret, saying, If Allah only saves us from this danger, we shall truly be grateful. Say, O Muhammad, 
Allah rescues you from it and from all other distresses, and yet you worship others besides Allah. Say, He has power to send torment on you from above or from under your feet, or to cover you with confusion, with factional strife, and make you taste the violence of one another. See how variously we explain our signs and revelations, so that they may understand. But your people, O Muhammad, have denied the Quran, though it is the truth. Say, I am not responsible for your affairs. For everything there is an appointed term, and you will come to know. And when you, Muhammad, see those who engage in a false conversation about our verses of the Quran by mocking at them, stay away from them till they turn to another topic. And if Satan causes you to forget, then after the remembrance, do not sit in the company of those people who are the polytheists and wrongdoers. Those who fear Allah, keep their duty to Him and avoid evil, are not responsible for the disbelievers in any case. But their duty is to remind them that they may avoid the mockery of the Quran. And leave alone those who take their religion as play and amusement and are deceived by the life of this world. But remind them with the Quran, lest a person be given up to destruction for that which he has earned, when he will find for himself no protector or intercessor besides Allah, and even if he offers every ransom, it will not be accepted from him. Such are they who are given up to destruction because of that which they have earned. For them will be a drink of boiling water and a painful torment, because they used to disbelieve. Say, O Muhammad, shall we invoke others besides Allah that can do us neither good nor harm? And shall we turn on our heels after Allah has guided us to true monotheism, like one whom the devils have made to go astray, confused, wandering through the earth, his companions calling him to guidance, saying, Come to us, say. Indeed, Allah's guidance is the only guidance, and we have been commanded to submit ourselves to the Lord of mankind, jinn, and all that exists, and to perform prayer, and to be obedient to Allah, and to fear Him, and it is He to whom you shall be gathered. It is He who has created the heavens and the earth in truth, and on the day of resurrection He will say, Be, and it shall be. His word is the truth. His will be the dominion on the day when the trumpet will be blown. All knower of the unseen and the seen. He is the all-wise, well aware of all things. And remember when Abraham said to his father, Azar, Do you take idols as gods? Indeed, I see you and your people in manifest error. Thus did we show Abraham the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, that he be one of those who have faith with certainty. When the night covered him over with darkness, he saw a star. He said, This is my Lord. But when it set, he said, I do not like those that set. When he saw the moon rising up, he said, This is my Lord. But when it set, he said, Unless my Lord guides me, I shall surely be among the erring people. When he saw the sun rising up, he said, this is my Lord, this is greater. But when it set, he said, O my people, I am indeed free from all that you join as partners in worship with Allah. Indeed, I have turned my face towards him who has created the heavens and the earth, and I am not of those who assign partners to Allah. His people disputed with him. He said, do you dispute with me concerning Allah when he has guided me, and I do not fear those whom you associate with Allah in worship? Nothing can happen to me except what my Lord Allah wills. My Lord comprehends in his knowledge all things. Will you not then remember? And how can I fear those whom you associate in worship with Allah, though they can bring neither benefit nor harm? While you do not fear that you have joined in worship with Allah, things for which he has not sent down to you any authority? So which of the two parties has more right to be in security? If you but knew. It is those who believe in the oneness of Allah, and worship none but him alone, and confuse not their belief with wrong by worshipping others besides Allah. For them only is their security, and they are the guided. And that was our proof which we gave Abraham against his people.
we raise whom we will in degrees. Certainly your Lord is all-wise, all-knowing. And we bestowed upon him Isaac and Jacob. Each of them we guided. And before him we guided Noah, and among his offspring David, Solomon, Job, Joseph, Moses, and Aaron. Thus do we reward the doers of good. And Zechariah, and John, and Jesus, and Elias, each one of them was of the righteous. And Ishmael, and Elisha, and Jonah, and Lot, each one of them we preferred above the mankind and jinn of their times. And also some of their fathers, and their offspring, and their brethren. We chose them, and we guided them to a straight path. This is the guidance of Allah, with which He guides whoever He will of His slaves. But if they had joined in worshipping others with Allah, all that they used to do would have been of no benefit to them. They are those whom we gave the book, wisdom, and prophethood. But if they disbelieve in it, then, indeed, we entrust it to a new people, such as the companions of the Prophet Muhammad, who are not disbelievers in it. They are those whom Allah had guided. So follow their guidance. Say, No reward do I ask of you for this Quran. It is only a reminder for mankind and jinn. The Jews, pagans, and idolaters did not credit Allah with an estimation due to Him when they said, Allah sent nothing down to any human being by inspiration. Say, O Muhammad, who then sent down the book which Moses brought, a light and guidance to mankind, which you, the Jews, have made into separate paper sheets, disclosing some of it and concealing much? And you, believers in Allah and His Messenger Muhammad, were taught through the Quran that which neither you nor your fathers knew. Say, Allah sent it down. Then leave them to play in their vain discussions. And this Quran is a blessed book which we have sent down, confirming the Quran, revelations which came before it, so that you may warn the mother of towns Mecca and all those around it. Those who believe in the hereafter, Believe in the Quran, and they are constant in guarding their prayers. And who can be more unjust than he who invents a lie against Allah, or says, I have received inspiration, even though he is not inspired in anything, and who says, I will reveal the like of what Allah has revealed. And if you could but see when the polytheists and wrongdoers are in the agonies of death, when the angels are stretching forth their hands, saying, Deliver your souls, this day you shall be recompensed with a torment of degradation because of what you used to utter against Allah, other than the truth. And you used to reject His signs and revelations with disrespect. And truly, you have come to us alone without wealth, companions, or anything else, just as when we created you the first time. You have left behind you all that which we had bestowed on you. We do not see with you your intercessors, whom you claim to be partners with Allah. Now all relations between you and them have been cut off, and all that you used to claim has vanished from you. Indeed, it is Allah who causes the seed grain and the fruit stone, such as the date stone, to split and sprout. He brings forth the living from the dead and it is He who brings forth the dead from the living. Such is Allah. Then how are you deluded away from the truth? He causes the morning to emerge at daybreak. He has appointed the night for resting, and the sun and the moon for reckoning. Such is the measuring of the Almighty, the All-Knowing. It is He who has set the stars in the sky for you, so that you may guide your course with their help through the darkness of the land and the sea. We have indeed explained in detail our signs and revelations for people who know. It is He who has created you from a single man, Adam, and has given you a place of residing on the earth and a place of rest in the earth, in your graves. Indeed, we have explained in detail our revelations, this Koran, for people who understand. It is He who sends down rain from the sky, and with it we bring forth vegetation of all kinds, and out of it we bring forth green stalks, from which we bring forth thick clustered grain. And out of the date palm come forth clusters of dates hanging low and near, and gardens of grapes, olives, and pomegranates, each similar in kind, yet different in variety and taste. 
Look at their fruits as they begin to grow and ripen. Indeed, in these things there are signs for people who believe. Yet they join the jinn as partners in worship with Allah, though he has created the jinn, and they attribute falsely without knowledge sons and daughters to him. Be he glorified and exalted above all that they attribute to him. He is the originator of the heavens and the earth. How can he have children when he has no wife? He created all things, and he is the all-knower of everything. Such is Allah your Lord. None has the right to be worshipped but he, the creator of all things. So worship him alone, and he is the guardian over all things. No vision can grasp him, but his grasp is over all visions. He is the most subtle and compassionate, well acquainted with all things. Indeed, proofs have come to you from your Lord, so whoever sees will do so for the good of his own self, and whoever blinds himself will do so to his own harm, and I, Muhammad, am not a watcher over you. Thus we explain variously the verses, so that the disbelievers may say, You have studied the books of the people of the Scripture, and brought this Quran from that, and that we may make the matter clear for the people who have knowledge. Follow what has been inspired to you, O Muhammad, from your Lord. None has the right to be worshipped but he, and turn aside from those who join gods with Allah. Had Allah willed, they would not have taken others besides him in worship, and we would not have made you a watcher over them, nor are you set over them to dispose of their affairs. And do not insult those whom the disbelievers worship besides Allah, lest they insult Allah wrongfully without knowledge. Thus we have made fair-seeming to each people its own doings. Then to their Lord is their return, and he shall inform them of all that they used to do. And they swear their strongest oaths by Allah, that if there came to them a sign, they would surely believe in it. Say, Signs are but with Allah, and what will make you Muslims perceive that even if the sign came, they will not believe? and we shall turn their hearts and their eyes away from guidance, as they refuse to believe for the first time, and we shall leave them in their trespass to wander blindly. And even if we had sent down to them angels, and the dead had spoken unto them, and we had gathered together all things before their very eyes, they would not have believed, unless Allah willed. But most of them behave ignorantly. And so we have appointed for every prophet enemies, devils among mankind and jinn, inspiring one another with a dawn speech as a delusion, or by way of deception. If your Lord had so willed, they would not have done it, so leave them alone with their fabrications. And this is so that the hearts of those who disbelieve in the hereafter may incline to such deceit, and that they may remain pleased with it, and that they may commit what they are committing of all kinds of sins and evil deeds. Say, O Muhammad, shall I seek a judge other than Allah, while it is he who has sent down to you the book this Quran explained in detail? Those to whom we gave the scripture know that it is revealed from your Lord in truth. So do not be of those who doubt. And the word of your Lord has been fulfilled in truth and in justice. None can change his words, and he is the all-hearer, the all-knower. And if you obey most of those on earth, they will mislead you far away from Allah's path. They follow nothing but conjecture, and they do nothing but lie. Indeed, your Lord, it is He who knows best who strays from His way, and He knows best of the rightly guided ones. So eat of that meat on which Allah's name has been pronounced while slaughtering the animal, if you are believers in His signs and revelations. And why should you not eat of that meat on which Allah's name has been pronounced at the time of slaughtering the animal? As he has explained to you in detail what is forbidden to you, except under compulsion or necessity. And surely many do lead mankind astray by their own desires, through lack of knowledge. Certainly your Lord knows best the transgressors. Leave, O mankind, all kinds of sin, open and secret. Indeed. Those who commit sin will get due recompense for that which they used to commit. Eat not, O believers, of that meat on which Allah's name has not been pronounced at the time of slaughtering the animal. For sure, it is a sin and disobedience of Allah. 
and certainly the devils do inspire their friends from mankind to dispute with you, and if you obey them, then you would indeed be polytheists. Is one who was dead, without faith, by ignorance and disbelief, and we gave him life by knowledge and faith, and set for him a light of belief, whereby he can walk amongst men, equal to him who is in the darkness of disbelief, polytheism, and hypocrisy, from which he can never come out? Thus it is made fair-seeming to the disbelievers that which they used to do. And thus we have set up in every town leaders among its wicked people to plot and scheme. But they do not plot except against themselves, but they do not perceive it. And when there comes to them a sign from Allah, they say, We shall not believe until we receive the like of that which the messengers of Allah received. Allah knows best with whom to place his message. Humiliation and disgrace from Allah and a severe torment will overtake the criminals, polytheists, sinners for that which they used to plot. And whoever Allah wills to guide, he opens his heart to Islam, and whoever he wills to send astray, he makes his heart closed and constricted, as if he is climbing up to the sky. Thus Allah puts his wrath on those who do not believe. And this is the path of your Lord, the Quran and Islam, leading straight. We have detailed our revelations for a people who take heed. For them will be the home of peace, paradise with their Lord, and He will be their helper and protector because of what they used to do. And on the day when He will gather them all together and say, O oh, you assembly of jinn, you misled many from among mankind. Friends and helpers from amongst men will say, Our Lord, we benefited one from the other, but now we have reached our appointed term, which you appointed for us. He will say, the fire will be your dwelling place. You will dwell there forever, except as Allah may will. Certainly your Lord is all-wise, all-knowing. And thus do we make the polytheists and wrongdoers supporters and helpers to one another in committing crimes, because of that which they used to earn. O oh, you assembly of jinn and mankind! Did there not come to you messengers from amongst you, reciting to you my verses and warning you of the meeting of this day of yours? They will say, We bear witness against ourselves. It was the life of this world that deceived them, and they will bear witness against themselves that they were disbelievers. This is because your Lord would not destroy the populations of towns for their wrongdoing of associating others in worship along with Allah, while their people were unaware. So the messengers were sent. For all, there will be degrees according to what they did and your Lord is not unaware of what they do. And your Lord is rich, free of all wants, full of mercy. If He will, He can destroy you, and in your place make whom He will as your successors, as He raised you from the seed of other people. Surely that which you are promised will indeed come to pass, and you cannot escape from the punishment of Allah. Say, O Muhammad, O my people, work according to your way. Surely I too am working to my way and you will come to know for which of us will be the happy end in the hereafter. Certainly the polytheists and wrongdoers will not be successful. And they assign to Allah a share of the tilth and cattle which He has created, and they say, This share belongs to Allah, according to their claims, and this share belongs to our idols. However, what was set aside for their idols never reached Allah while the share they set aside for Allah invariably went to their idols. Evil is the way they judge. And so too many of the polytheists, their idols have made fair-seeming the killing of their own children, in order to lead them to their own destruction and to cause confusion in their religion. And if Allah had willed, they would not have done so. So leave them alone with their fabrications. And according to their pretending, they say that such and such cattle and crops are forbidden, and none should eat of them except those whom they allow. And they say there are cattle forbidden to be used for burden or any other work, and cattle on which at the time of slaughtering the name of Allah is not pronounced, lying against Allah. He will recompense them for their fabrications. And they say, What is in the bellies of such and such cattle is reserved for our males alone and forbidden to our females. But... 
If it is born dead, then all have shares in it. He will punish them for their attribution of such false orders to Allah. Indeed, he is all-wise, all-knower. Indeed, lost are they who have killed their children from folly, without knowledge, and have forbidden that which Allah has provided for them, inventing a lie against Allah. They have indeed gone astray and were not guided. And it is he who produces gardens, trellised and untrellised, and date palms and crops of different shapes and taste, and olives and pomegranates, similar in kind and different in taste. Eat of their fruit when they ripen, but pay the due alms on the day of its harvest, and waste not by extravagance. Indeed, he likes not those who waste by extravagance. And of the cattle are some for burden, and some are small and unable to carry burden. Eat of what Allah has provided for you, and do not follow the footsteps of Satan. Surely he is an open enemy to you. Take eight pairs, of sheep, two, male and female, and of the goats, two, male and female. Say, has he forbidden the two males or the two females, or the young which the wombs of the two females enclose? Inform me with knowledge if you are truthful. And of the camels, take two male and female, and of oxen, two, male and female. Say, has he forbidden the two males or the two females, or the young which the wombs of the two females enclose? Or were you present when Allah ordered you such a thing? Then who does more wrong than one who invents a lie against Allah, to lead mankind astray without knowledge? Certainly Allah guides not the people who are polytheists and wrongdoers. Say, O Muhammad, I do not find in that which has been inspired to me anything forbidden to be eaten by one who wishes to eat it, unless it be a dead animal or blood poured forth by slaughtering or the like, or the flesh of swine, for that surely is impure, or unlawful meat of an animal which is slaughtered as a sacrifice to others than Allah, or on which Allah's name has not been mentioned while slaughtering. But whoever is forced by necessity, without willful disobedience, nor transgressing due limits, for him certainly your Lord is oft forgiving, most merciful. And to those who are Jews, we forbade every animal with undivided hoof, and we forbade them the fat of the ox and the sheep, except what adheres to their backs or their entrails, or is mixed up with bone. Thus we recompense them for their rebellion, and for committing crimes like murdering the prophets, eating of usury, and so forth. And indeed, we are truthful. If the Jews deny you, O Muhammad, then say, Your Lord is the owner of vast mercy, and never will his wrath be turned back from the people who are criminals, polytheists, and sinners. Those who took partners in worship with Allah will say, If Allah had willed, we would not have taken partners in worship with him, nor would our fathers, and we would not have forbidden anything against his will. Likewise, so denied those who were before them. They argued falsely with Allah's messengers, till they tasted our wrath, say, Have you any knowledge and proof that you can produce before us? Indeed, you follow nothing but conjecture, and you do nothing but lie. Say, With Allah is the perfect proof and argument. Had he so willed, he would have indeed have guided you all. Say, Bring forward your witnesses, who can testify that Allah has forbidden this. Then if they testify, do not testify, O Muhammad, with them. And you should not follow the vain desires of such who treat our signs and revelations as falsehoods, we and such who do not believe in the hereafter, and they hold others as equal in worship with their Lord. Say, O Muhammad, come, I will recite what your Lord has prohibited you from. Do not join anything in worship with him. Be good and dutiful to your parents. Do not kill your children because of poverty. We provide sustenance for you and for them. Do not come near to shameful sins, whether committed openly or secretly, and do not kill anyone whom Allah has forbidden, except for a just cause, according to Islamic law. This he has commanded you, that you may understand. And come not near to the orphan's property, except to improve it, until he or she attains the age of full strength, and gives her and full weight with justice. We do not burden any soul, except with what he is capable of bearing. And whenever you give your word, and judge between men, or give evidence, say the truth, even if a near relative is concerned, and fulfill the covenant of Allah.
This he commands you, so that you may remember. And indeed, this is my straight path, so follow it, and do not follow other paths, for they will separate you away from his path. This he has ordained for you, so that you may become pious. Then we gave Moses the Torah to complete our favor upon those who would do right, explaining all things in detail and as a guidance and a mercy that they might believe in the meeting with their Lord. And this is a blessed book, the Quran, which we have sent down. So follow it and fear Allah and do not disobey his commandments, that you may receive mercy and be saved from the torment of hell. Lest you pagan Arabs should say, This book was only sent down to two sects before us, the Jews and the Christians, and for our part we were in fact unaware of what they studied. Or lest you pagan Arabs should say, If only the book had been sent down to us, we would surely have been better guided than the Jews and Christians. So now has come to you a clear proof, the Quran, from your Lord as a guidance and a mercy. Who then does more wrong than one who rejects the signs and revelations of Allah and turns away from them? We shall punish those who turn away from our signs and revelations with an evil torment because of their turning away from them. Are they waiting for the angels to come to them, or your Lord, or some physical manifestations of your Lord? The day this happens, no soul will benefit from believing if it did not believe before that, and did not reap the benefits of belief who will then, by leading a life of righteousness, say, Keep waiting, we too are waiting. Indeed, those who divide their religion and break up into sects, you, O Muhammad, should have no concern in them in the least. Their affair is only with Allah, who will then tell them what they used to do. Whoever does a righteous work receives the reward for ten, and the one who commits a sin is punished only for one, and they will not be wronged by the least injustice. Say, O Muhammad, truly my Lord has guided me to a straight path, a right religion, the religion of Abraham, the true in faith, and he was not among those who joined partners with Allah. Say, O Muhammad, my prayer, my sacrifice, my living and my dying are for Allah, the Lord of mankind, jinn, and all that exists. He has no partner, and of this I have been commanded, and I am the first to submit. Say, Shall I seek a Lord other than Allah, while He is the Lord of all things? No person earns any sin except only against himself and no bearer of burden shall bear the burden of another. Then to your Lord is your return, and he informs you regarding all your disputes. And it is he who has made you, generation after generation, replacing each other on the earth. And he has raised you in ranks, some above others, so that he may try you in that which he has bestowed on you. Surely your Lord is swift in retribution, and certainly he is oft forgiving, most merciful. Chapter 7